from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. I'm Dia Riley. We'll check in with Greg D coming up in just a minute for a look at your Monday forecast. But first, though, I want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. State officials, health officials report more than 8,500 new COVID-19 cases on Sunday. There were 1,700 new cases here in the Tampa Bay area. Of those, Hillsborough County reports 787, Pinellas County has 306, and Polk County has 257 cases. Much of the increase in COVID-19 cases is coming from younger people. Many people worry that protests would drive up cases. However, health experts in our area say most of the new cases seem to be coming from places like bars. They say right now white teenagers seem to be most at risk of contracting COVID. Case numbers of COVID-19 in the African-American community have been dropping over the past month. Experts say if the Bay Area doesn't see a drop in overall new cases by July 3rd, then that's going to be a big problem. And to help stem the spread, the state has banned bars for, from allowing drinking on site. Florida's Department of Business and Professional Regulation decided to suspend drinking alcohol at all bars across the state, citing a dangerous surge in COVID cases and young people. Bars can still sell drinks, but those drinks have to be to go. Any business that makes more than 50% of sales from food can stay open and serve alcohol. Pinellas County opened a new testing site at Tropicana Field. It's on a first come first serve basis. If you go out there, they say bring a referral from your doctor and that will help you get processed faster. The site is going to open from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. through Thursday next week. It'll be open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 11 a.m. Also happening today, Hillsborough's emergency policy group is going to discuss the latest COVID-19 numbers and also give an update on the Raymond James testing site. That site is trying to double the number of tests that it performs this week. The group will also review its mask mandate. We'll bring you any new developments on air, online, and of course here on our streaming news app. I want to check in now with Greg D for a look at a hot Monday forecast. Oh, it is a hot one for sure, dear. Temperatures well into the 90s today. Take a look at your planner. 92 to 94 degrees. Lots of sunshine out there. But, you know, it's going to feel much hotter with that feels like temperature. The actual heat index, well, that could climb to near 100 to 102 degrees by the afternoon in spots even higher. There is a chance for a couple of showers through about 3 or 4 o'clock in Tampa as the sea breeze works its way in. Then the evening should mainly dry out. There won't be much rain, but if you do get some pop-ups in your backyard. You can always check the latest forecast and radar by going to the ABC Action News app. It is free in your app store, dear. All right, thank you, Greg. You can now get news 24 hours a day on our free streaming news channel. Just download the ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, and Apple TV.